I'm here at the US Security Expo where the greatest minds in the US come together to stop bad guys getting into places. I'm here with a pass that says Nick Everything International Baddie. I've broken in here today and I don't have a cameraman with me today so my cameraman for this particular shot is a security guard. Amazing. Thanks so much mate. Here Cheers. Go. Have a good day. Sure. Back in 2021, I tested the security of one of the most guarded places in London no, it's not a bomb, no. by breaking in to the International Security Expo, pretending to be a man called Rob Banks. Rob Banks, international baddie. But it's been over a year and things have changed, so I decided to set myself a slightly harder challenge. Thinking of going back next year, pretending to be a man called Nick Everything. I wanted to try again, but this time in one of the most security mad countries in the world, the United States. States of America. And it just so happens that this year's International Security Conference is in one of the USA's most surveilled cities, Las Vegas. We're just supposed to walk out of there without getting stopped? Yeah. Oh. This time around, however, the stakes would be slightly higher. The security had guns, the FBI would be talking, and they had some sniffy good boys. But none of them would be a match for one posh boy from London. I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go. After taking a flight and arriving in the good old US of A, international, literally international bad boy for the first time, I hopped in a cab and did some reconnaissance of the scene of my upcoming crime. Oh, no, right. I found out online that the day before the expo was when everyone would register and collect their passes. So this is where the entrance to the expo is. I think everyone's getting their passes now. And the security on this day is very lax indeed. I'm just going to walk in and see what I can see from the lobby. It's called the Venetian Expo, which is, I think it's connected to the Venetian Hotel. And I was right, 10 points to Gryffindor. The Venetian Expo Centre is part of the gargantuan Venetian Resort, which is the second largest hotel in the world. Meaning it was going to be chock full of entrances and exits in case I needed a swift getaway. One thing became quite clear. Everyone attending the conference was wearing a pass round their neck. And these passes weren't cheap, with the VIP tickets going for over a thousand dollars. Nick Everything wasn't going to be paying that kind of money, but he did realise that all of these passes were dangling from an official international security lanyard. So if I had a hope in hell of sneaking in and then staying in, I needed one of those lanyards. Thank you. We come in somewhere. There's lots of people here getting their tickets and passes. At the moment, I just want to see what the passes look like. Now, where was I going to find one of these famous lanyards? The big key to get it. Oh, they're just right there, just on a stand. Lanyards. Very helpful indeed. With my scouting mission complete, I just had one more question about the security of the building. And who better to ask than actual security? Hi, yeah. I've got a question for tomorrow. Is this the only entrance we can get into the expo? Is it connected to the Venetian Hotel at all? Or this is yeah. the only entrance? If you come through the casino, you yeah. come right into the convention center. Great. Thank you very much. This is very good intel. I like this intel a lot. With some good intel on how to get in, I now need to find out who's going to be around on the day. Do you know whether Surfshark have a stand here? Surfshark are a VPN that makes sure that you're protected whilst you're browsing online. But how does it work? How does it work? Well, I found out the hard way. I'm currently in jail because I'm the bad guy who tried to hack someone who had Surfshark VPN. When you're out and about using public Wi-Fi and there are baddies like me about, you want to mask your IP address. If you don't mask your IP address, bad guys like me can find out all of your personal information, which we definitely do not want. But it's okay, because I've got all my fellow bad boys and girls on the hottest new deal from Surfshark. 83% off and the first three months for free if you use the code MAXFOSH. More like Max. Fantastic deal, thank you very much. Make sure you click the link in my description so you can take advantage of this fantastic deal. But back to when I was a free international baddie and I needed to get inside the security conference. A successful scouting mission. I've got a lanyard, I've got a bag. I know what the pass looks like. I think this is gonna be quite doable. See you tomorrow. The next day I scoured social media hoping for a glimpse of someone's past that I could then recreate in Photoshop. So I've been scrolling on Twitter and I'm just looking at people who are, who are having a great time. Look at him, he's having a beer. Go on lad. But also this guy very much got his past 
on show. It seems like they've got a QR code in the bottom left and it's a pretty similar format as to whether you're an attendee or an exhibitor. I am now gonna try and recreate these passes into Photoshop. I just need to find a pass that looks good enough. After finding some good examples of the past from some extremely security-conscious-minded attendees, I put together a copy on Photoshop that would hopefully fool anyone who gave it a glance and look. <laughs> I think my work is done here. This is Nick Everything's pass. <laughs> for those of you watching internationally, Nick here in the UK is slang for steel. So I was going to become Mr. Steel Everything. His job title? international baddie. I don't know what the number denotes, so I've just gone for Nick Everything's number is 123456678. With that all sorted, I made a trip down to the local FedEx. Hiya. Can I get something printed, please? And $1.39 and some quick origami later, I had a pass worth $1,000, which was ready to fool anyone who stood in my way. Nick Everything, the international baddie. I mean, now, I need to look the part. To do that, I headed to the classiest boutique in Vegas to transform into a bad boy. Show me your doobies, Las Vegas. <laughs> I support single mums, one dollar at a time. Yeah, these t-shirts aren't for me. After searching through some t-shirts with varying levels of morality, get me drunk and enjoy the show. That's quite dark. I eventually came across something perfect for a sneaky intruder like Nick. This looks exactly like a robber's uniform. <laughs> it's not a uniform, is it? It's a... But yeah, it is a uniform. Robbers wear this as a uniform. This is the number. Break into the US security convention as a robber. I swiftly donned my new uniform and was ready to fully embody my new personality. Nick. Nick everything. International bad boy and part-time robber. What are you waiting for? Come on over. For a small fee, Zoltar will give you a wealth of wisdom. All right. The time for the break-in had arrived. Security exit, is that what you guys are for? That's the one. All right. Making sure everyone's safe. No one's getting anywhere they shouldn't. All right. But this time, I arrived at the Venetian Hotel entrance. If you come to the casino, yeah. you come right into the convention center. Which meant that I skipped the first layer of security, no problemo. I then needed to find out where the security convention actually was, so I just asked some security. Excuse me guys, which way to the security convention? This way and the way to the right. Great, thank you very much. Crossing the casino floor, I then stopped for a quick costume change, because I needed to blend in like everybody else there. So what does every FBI director look like? Oh, me. Just a, a white man. It's an automatic flusher. I've got a jacket in my bag to make myself look a bit more proper. And just around the corner, I found the back entrance to the Venetian Convention Center, where everyone seemed to, to be leaving? I want to go in the other way. <laughs> I think it must be lunchtime. Lunchtime worked in my favor as the guards just decided that no one did anything naughty whilst on lunch. These two having a great time, look at them chuckling, probably watching one of the vids. Thanks guys, join the fosh pit. This got me all the way to the conference entrance where I finally ran into a problem. Right, there is one slight problem. They are checking the QR code on the pass. They're scanning it and checking it with ID. Now obviously I do not have an ID that says Nick everything. How was I gonna get past this particular problem? Right, I'm just gonna go for it. Just pretend that I was on the phone and walked straight in. Yeah, no, I thought, but absolutely, yeah. What, oh, operation getting in everything into the US security expo is a go. Ooh, they got food. I was in. And browsing some of the latest tech the industry was offering. There you go. Now you Access granted. And other than some people mistaking me for a bloke called Max. Max? No, Nick. Nick, sorry. Nick, that's okay. Good to see you. Have I, have I seen you before? Uh, I've seen you before. Yeah. That was having a pretty good time. Got all sorts of free goodies as well. I think it's time for Nick Everything International Baddie to start stealing. Can I just grab a pen? Thank you very much. Cheers. What have I won? A hat! That is absolutely terrifying. It turns turns lights on to, to make sure the bad guys stay away. Yeah. A gift! A fur oh, thank you very much! Nice colour. You could do a pink one and have a gender reveal. <laughs> can I grab a pen? Could you grab it for me? My hands are a bit full. Oh, yeah. Can I get a latte, please? Thank you. Time for a coffee. Mmm, 
delicious. I think I've got all the free stuff that I can get. There's one more thing I want to do, and it's quite risky. Let's see how secure these guys actually are. And it would require one final costume change. <laughs>